We all have our secrets, don't we? Be it tender, grinder. G'day, I'm Fancy Smart Business Proxy, and today we'll see how to hide apps on Android and iOS. Let's get started with Android, shall we? For Android, you can either use your launcher or a third party app. Both have their pros and cons. If you just want to hide your apps from the app drawer, I highly suggest you get Nova Launcher. Next, go to the app drawer and search for the app you want to hide, like say Tinder and Long Presser. You'll see three options popping up, App Info, Uninstall and Edit. Tap on Edit option and a dialogue should pop up where you rename the app and change the icon as well. I suggest you change the app name to something generic, like say a sound recorder or notepad and change the icon to match that. If anyone's going through your app launcher, they won't see the hidden app. Even if they search for, like, say, Tinder, they won't see the app in the app drawer. But how do you open it? Well, you have to search by its new name, like Sound Recorder or something. Wow, that was ludicrously simple, wasn't it? If you're looking for more advanced features, I recommend that you look for a third-party app, like Privacy Hider. It's got some real ingenuity in it. Use Privacy Hider to clone the Tinder app and delete the original app from your launcher. The clone Tinder lives and breathes inside Privacy Hider. The app works real fine and the cool thing is, it also stores your login credentials and app preferences so you can use it like any regular app. But what if someone sees Privacy Hider? Going one step ahead of apps like Peril in Space, you can hide Privacy Hider itself in the form of a calculator. So all you see is a calculator in your launcher that anyone can use but if you enter a specific number in the calculator and equate it, you'd instantly get access to the real app. Hiding apps on iOS is not as smooth, but it still gets the job done. The most popular way to hide apps on iOS is by putting it on a second page of a folder. Just create a boring folder and fill it with stock apps that no one's interested in. Once filled, drop the app that you want to hide, it'll automatically go to the next page and it won't be visible from the home screen. Not very neat, but still works. A better way to hide apps on iOS is by using the parental control feature. If you visit the app store, you'll see the ratings of different apps. Most social media apps are rated 9+, plus, while dating apps are 17+, plus, meaning if you set the filter to 17+, your parental settings, then all the dating apps installed in your iPhone would require a password. Sounds cool, yeah? Let's see how we can set it up now. Go to iOS settings and then general and restrictions. Here, tap on enable restrictions and enter a restriction passcode and confirm it again. To hide third party apps, scroll down to apps in the allowed content section. Here, you can hide all third party apps or you can hide apps based on their age ratings. And that's it, this will hide apps from your home screen as well as your search. Even if you restart the iPhone or iPad, the apps still stay hidden. You can retrieve your hidden apps by disabling the restriction feature through your passcode. But those were some simple ways to hide apps on Android and iOS. You can always hide an app, but you can never run from a spouse now, can you? Looking at you, Rob Hats. Speaking of hiding apps, did you know you could hide your location on the interwebs? Check out SmartDNS Proxy if you're keen to unlock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, or even Amazon Prime here. This is the 14 day free trial, check out the link in the description below. As always, I'm Vamjin SmartDNS Proxy, subscribe and pummel that like button next time.